Earl, you ever pay for pussy? Nah. No. <laughs> <laughs> what if it? What if it don't count? If you're out the country, do it count? Nah, I can't. It don't count, right? Only domestic. It's called paying taxes. Yeah, right? exactly. That's you what gotta it pay is. Taxes you gotta pay. Only domestic prostitution counts. International, you're fine. I mean, but the concept is, I mean, you end up paying anyway. At, yeah, at some Facts, point you're yeah. paying for pussy regardless. Yeah. So it's just like, just like, uh, I guess, eliminating like the middle. Okay, explain. What do you mean you uh, like some... dinner? Yeah. You gotta take her <laughs> out. It's, it's a quarter grade. It's a restaurant. It's in the middle, man. <laughs> the restaurant is just to make her feel better about doing something she was gonna do anyways. Right. Like, oh look, I'm being treated well. I'm a gentleman. Um, no, you're just falling into social norms. Like, we should just go fuck if we want to. Yeah. And no, I'm not gonna look at you differently. But you made a good point about uh, guys that feel like. Women just like them all the time. Oh, it's my important, God. but no, it's important to have one of those guys in the crew because it really helps your field goal percentage. I do. Like, it makes you look cool. Yeah. Huh? No, it does make you look wild cool. It Wait. does. If you like, yo, if you got one, oh, yo, she ready. She she on you. <laughs> it's gonna force you to shoot. It's important to have them type of guys on your team, man. That just feel like every girl likes them. But you gotta know that that's the friend though, because anytime a dude to say, oh, I got five coming, they all ready. They've never been ready. <laughs> Not one of them. Here I am, I'm walking in thinking they're ready. I should have been on my A game. Yeah, but it gives now you now they're even more though. unready. It gives you that confidence to at least start the conversation. Because a lot of the times, guys just don't know how to start a conversation. With women. Yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? I'll take that dude over the yo. Where the chicks at? Where the chicks at? Where the chicks at? And then when the chicks then, get there, oh, then, then, then where the hoes at, nigga? Where the hoes at, guys? Say nothing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't like I call that. someone out on on. The DR trip on that. Yo, my boy was doing that. <laughs> it's the same person. He got two personalities. He do. <laughs> Bro. At one moment, he the dude that... Where the hoes at is crazy. I hate that type of guy. But you know the type of guy I really hate, though, is uh, the guy that's, like, just starting to, like, glow up a little bit in life. Uh-huh. Man, you know how when you see somebody, you be like, you just... Because they're not famous, that famous, that yet. Right. You don't really know who they are, but you know their face looks very familiar. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm in a club... You know, I'm like, yo, I feel like I know you. Mind you, we're in a very, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, there's no bums around. Right. right? And, like, I feel like I know everybody's you. Everybody's doing pretty good. Yeah, everybody's doing all right. I'm yeah. Some mad bums. You know what I'm saying? And like, he's like, nah, you don't know me. I hate that type of guy. Nah, you don't it's know me? Like, nah, it's just, like, on some, like, I'm famous, you don't know me, you yeah. might be a fan type of nigga. Like, oh, like, yeah, nah, that's on, corny. Bro. That's, it's that's not corny. even. That's corny. Earl did that to more. In the, yo. In a fast food. <laughs> nah. <laughs> So, so. Oh, you're that type of guy. No, no, no. It was, it wasn't that. It wasn't that. It down. I was yeah. It, it down what like happened eight. was, I was in I the car. I looked past the test. Yeah. Yeah. He, he did. He did. He did what he was supposed to do. I was in the car in front of this spot um, called Cha Cha Chicken in Santa Monica, and so I seen Earl. So I know him. Him and Hop. He fuck with Hop heavy. Like so, I, I didn't see Hop yet. So when I seen Earl, I was parking. I seen Earl. I just rolled the window and I was like, Yo, Earl, what up? So he kind of looked. He was like, What's good? I was like, Yo, where Hop at? So he was like. You know, because you asking the random yeah, nigga asking where your man yeah, at. You're like, I'm, yeah. trying, I'm trying to line my man. Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, like, I don't know. I, don't know. I, I said, like, nah. So, like, right. Yeah. So, But I, I knew what it was. So I said, nah, I'm, I'm his little brother, man. Like, just tell him I'm looking for him. And then that's what I man. definitely was like. Man. This definitely clipped. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When he said it was his brother, I was like. <laughs> right. But I saw it. So the funny shit is I hit hop later yeah. on. I was like, yo, I just saw Earl. And I already know he probably thinking some funny shit like. And then he told me, like, he's like, yeah, and I seen him the next day. He told me, he was like, yeah, that nigga definitely was like, yo, something You know, I, I definitely him. slid on hop, like, yo, man. But I respect it, man. though, because he was like, yo, nah, like, I don't know where he at. Well, I respect that. I guess it's more so, like, it's just like, and then, and then took it a step further. The next conversation, I was like, yo, bro, it's, it's not even that deep. Right. I'm going to introduce myself to you. Right. Tell you who I am and what I have to offer to the world. Right. Totally. And the nigga is still like, Nah, nah, you don't know me. I'm like, all right, bro. He ain't know you, though. But it doesn't matter. But I'm just like, I hate that type of guy. Yeah, I mean, that's, I just you know. Mean, I know what you mean. Like, yeah. the other day, nigga was like, yo, I know the way you talk about it. Nigga was like, yo, where I know you from? Mm -hmm. like, blah, blah. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm, I do music. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Nigga like, what? I was like, Earl. Yeah. He's like, boom, all right, peace, easy, mm -hmm. dap, so, goodbye. Yeah, but for, but for me, it's really more so even the, from the from the aspect of, if you're if you're trying if you're in a club you're in a club for one or two things right it's either for girls or like to meet new people, right? 
I'm never going to the club like, yo, can't wait to meet some new fellas. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess. You go to the club for girls for the most part. Yeah. Or the environment, if you like music and alcohol. You can go for the environment. Right. Well, not really. Because if I come in your section, right? If you invite me and I come in your section, I know that it's everybody around is going to be worth meeting. Mm -hmm. So I'm never, you know what I'm saying? All, my thing is all in context, right? Like, if you, if you invite me, I know everybody's going to be worth meeting. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I'm not going to act weird. Yeah, but the, the club thing with meeting girls, I, I guess I've, just a New York thing, because he was a New York nigga, too. But, but y'all... And also rich... the language, too. He also just chess-mated you on the language shit. <laughs> nigga said, nigga said, yo, I know you. Nigga said, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's hilarious. You like, nah, you don't know me. Yeah, that shit would have pissed me off. But no, it did. I actually got high. I was like, bro, relax. And then, I, and then it ended up coming together who the nigga was, and I actually got madder. I'm like, nigga. Right. You don't contribute much to the world. Right. Like, I really, now you feel, you feel whack for even, no. like, approaching him. No, I don't feel whack, because, like, for me, I just always want to introduce myself around the niggas I'm around. Right. That's just, that's just, that's just, yeah, that's just one. Oh, so y'all was in the same section, section. type of thing. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, sitting here? Yeah. yeah, he approached that all. Yeah. If we're in the same but in section, York, so but I, what that mean, though? Because that's the second time I'm saying that, so now I got to, <laughs> so now we got to open up that conversation. Yeah, what does that mean? Like, New York niggas be mad hostile for no reason, bro. Dependent. It's, like, it's, it's a certain like, type bro, of New York nigga. I'm from Atlanta, bro. It's a, but, yeah, yeah. It, it, but it's a certain type of New York nigga. Some niggas just started getting money. Some niggas just started getting attention from pretty women. Yeah. Some niggas just started traveling. So it's nah, like, you hella mean, mean, though. Yeah. That is hella mean. That's a fact. Huh? New York niggas is hella mean. Yeah. Yeah. But at least like, you know actually, where you stand with No, you. bro. I feel like niggas will run into it more with L.A. niggas, bro. You don't feel like if a nigga... Like, yeah, I think L.A. niggas language. is way more aggressive, bro. L.A. niggas is definitely... If you hit the wrong L.A. nigga talking about some, bro, <laughs> yeah, I like, know you, he, he right. nigga gonna be like... Yes, yeah, a nigga, go another a way. nigga will flare up so yeah, crazy. Yeah, like, another way. like, what do you mean, yeah. nigga? Like, what do you mean? See, I don't think New, I don't think New York, I don't think we're that type of aggressive. Like, if you meet a New York person at that, that, that type of shit, he was just are so... just bothered, bro. Bro, they they're bothered. In a bad city. <laughs> like, why, like, bro? It's, it's not really that we bother. You know what it is? We just, uh, I'm, it's no I'm bullshit bothered. with us, for the most yeah, part. Just, it's yeah. very, like, straight on. You know what I'm saying? Well, you just elongated the bullshit by saying you don't know me. Like, nigga. No, but him, that's just a, we got to have a case study on him. <laughs> like, we don't know what he had going on. We don't know, you know what I'm saying, his insecurities, his Listen, ego. it could have been like, deeper in a cry for help. Like, you don't know me. Yeah, like, <laughs> I don't even I don't know like, myself. I don't even know myself <laughs> type of shit. Like, of course, no, you don't know me. I don't know me. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it was probably that type of thing, too. But nah, it's not. For it's, the most part, it's because just... Because when I piece into who this nigga is, I'm like, oh, okay, I know the type of nigga you are. So his ego is just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, okay, it's, well, it's so that, flared up. Yeah, so it's, that's yeah. not a New York thing. That's just yeah. a man thing, ego. No, but, but like, that mixed with, like, probably, like, like Brooklyn. <laughs> little bit of that, little bit of that sprinkled in the pot. Yeah, yeah, yeah I get it. If I get it, crazy. My, my issue with LA and Atlanta is a very selfish no, one. That's crazy. That's already y'all don't share the same like women. Well, <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. We first off, I'm gonna just tell you straight off. We got nature. We have things like. Trees, Back. you can see. We got Central, Central Park. Park. <laughs> Nigga, you got Central, Central Park. Park. Yeah, your right. shit is like. Y'all both have terrible traffic, but y'all don't share the same Y'all nature shit is like remember Hold on, y'all traffic not, not not terrible. Nah, shit is alright. We got pockets. It's certain oh, times of day yeah. where you you know what I mean. This Atlanta New York battle been happening all weekend. He said y'all stole hookah from them. Yo, to fam, <laughs> this man really <laughs> said New York culture is hookah, no, and I'm like, no, yeah, no, you didn't. <laughs> Yo, see now, see, now you're about to get me canceled from the city because I'm about to say some shit. I was shit smoking already. hookah with Habibi in 05. Y'all just got this shit two yeah, years but ago. Habibi what? Started hookah. Bro, what? You got to understand, thing, you got to understand, bro. The, the, convince the, me because it's hard to convince me that New right. York, because hookah been a New York thing since for years now. Right, but you got you to gotta understand with how the culture travels. Absolutely. So with what I'm saying is that I've been coming to New York since I was about 13, mm -hmm. right? A, a kid, I don't know what year what that, what that was. Cool. This, this is not 2005, though. But, yeah, 2007-ish, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, whatever. Anyways, what's your industry age? I don't, I'm 29. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even throw it away. I can't, I can't wait to be 40. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, so anyways, I used to go out to the club, and hookah was not a part of the, of the fabric. Like, I would have to travel all the way downtown somewhere into, like, some weird in alley. Atlanta. No, in New York. Okay. To to find a hookah lounge, mm -hmm. Where, as versus Atlanta, bro. There's hookah at the Starbucks. This you pull up and you're valeting your car, 
and the valet got a hookah in the yeah, parking but, uh, lot. Yeah, but, but I think what Rory's saying is we had it. It was a thing first in New York. It even was if, never a even thing. If, even if it you was in, club is the culture. Yeah, even if it was in like, <laughs> yeah, even if it was like a, in, in certain type of like, you know, uh, Indian to restaurants and stuff like that, like. Even if it was like Indian spots, it was in New York first. No, it and then, wasn't. And then, and, and let's keep well, it real. Half of New York, half of New York moved to Atlanta anyway. That's how y'all no, but but Atlanta has been doing this for yeah. so long because number one, our African, Af- African, um, East African, um, yeah, it's, it's very population large. is very large. very large. Yes. And also, like I said, just like, just like even like the strip club idea, like that's the reason why Atlanta, because Atlanta, this whole city is moved off of nightlife. Absolutely. Right. As versus New York is. So spread and so vast, so many different kinds of people. Yeah. In Atlanta, the whole season moved up nightlife, and that's mm-hmm. that's what dictates the culture. Mm-hmm. And the hookah culture was something that Atlanta really was doing, like forever. No, I get it, yeah. but I, I still think it started they, in New York. And they got it from Dykeman. They didn't get it from yeah. Dykeman. I think bro. so. <laughs> I think we can make a valid case. No, you that. can't. I think so. No, you can't. Listen, I'm not saying y'all. Listen, I don't smoke hookah stuff. anyway. <laughs> yeah. I, like, just I've been trying to instigate that like ten minutes. I just wanted to start it up. Yeah. Like just like New York is like I don't know like they taking the strip club thing and they were running with it now. No 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 New York uh, strip club is forever we'll an Atlanta thing. I'm, okay. I will always. Right, okay. You have no Our argument there for me. Yeah, New York strip clubs are terrible. Okay, we got gangbanging. Yeah, I think you got it. Forever. I think you got that. Yeah, nobody wants. That. We don't even. We gonna stay away from that. You can have that. Yeah, you can have that. Yeah, no, I'm cool. I'm cool on that. Yeah. No. But I mean, listen. This is this is not a. I mean, I love New York. <laughs> I just wish, I just wish y'all shared the same urgency as I do. Like, I be losing my mind in the line at CVS in LA. Like, why aren't y'all all annoyed and losing your fucking minds? Like, that's, I'm, what, I that's what he's about. saying. They're bothering, bro. They're bothered, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm selfishly bothered. Like, why don't y'all care about my time as much as me? But I get it, Hurry though. The I, fuck up. I get it, because y'all don't you have You know a, your pen. Y'all don't Type have a it. patio. Nah, I think you have I get it. Like, if you don't have a patio, it makes life not worth it. Yeah, yeah. I get it. You're trapped in this, so you just want to move at all you, times. Bro, I used to live in New York, bro. You can't even look far in New York. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you can't even have vision. You can't even. You look can't even far. see. You can't even have like, vision. It's a building. Yeah. Like you can't. Even you can't look far. It's crazy. <laughs> Your dreams stop right here. <laughs> <laughs> That's for hey, what's, that's what's, cool what's, out, man. That's fucked up. What's your five year plan? I'm trying to make it that next block. That next block, <laughs> next block. <laughs> bro. But I mean, I mean, one thing about New York that I will say, like, there's no place on this earth. Yeah, that please I go, give us props. There's no place on this earth that I go that I never felt motivated. Like more than New York. More than New York. Yeah. Like that energy, it's just like you gotta just be yeah, something. You gotta work. Yeah. But then you think about it and you'd be like, yo, there's no patio space. Right. Well, that's that's the catch twenty two yeah. of trying to hustle in New York. You become that fucking insane dude in the CVS line, wondering <laughs> why these people won't hurry the fuck up. You can't get one without the other. That's just after you suppress. Your and anger. why do New York niggas <laughs> love to spit? What do you mean? New York niggas love to just spit. Bro, everywhere. it's a crazy place. Like, <laughs> right. think about yo, it. Yo, yo, Earl just high. He just jump in like, yo, I got all the answers, fellas. I'm gonna tell you why New York is just fucked up. Bro, like, just hey, think Earl, about get your it. shit off, man. Bro, just think about this place, bro. <laughs> okay, You've Earl. been there, bro. Yeah. You've seen this place, bro. Yeah. Like it physically is is like that. <laughs> The like environment Brooklyn. build crazy niggas, bro. Well, Brooklyn niggas and they loogies, unmatched. They they spit them at that's the... some that's some smoking a lot of blunts and shit like that. Yeah, that's where that comes from. And when you breathe in the air, it starts to build up. Yeah, you gotta release that. Yeah, I love it. And I it's love just it. to let you know we here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, <laughs> fuck your floor. Here, yeah, dude. fuck your sidewalk. I love it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta Damn. set the tone. It's a temperature check. I hope I didn't get towed. Yeah, you good, my boy? What what you had on your mind? I hope I didn't get told. No, that's what you wanted to say. I feel being free agents. I mean, amazing. Not just out here like uh Yeah, man. I mean, you know, it's we we, we was always free agents to an extent. <laughs> <laughs> no, y'all <was> salary this, workers. <laughs> yeah, no, but this is um, this is different only because I think creatively now, Rory and myself, we get to do a lot of shit that we want to do. Yeah, and always like wanted to do. Yeah, and um, get to move around more. Like we came out here and just yeah. kick it with niggas, and because you always wanted to be LA, uh, be in LA. I mean, I, I think LA is a is always a good idea. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Um, especially when you want to get some shit done. Right. Everybody is always in town. It, it feels like, so if you need to see a bunch of people and have meetings or do mm-hmm. whatever, 
it's a perfect opportunity. It's easy. Like, that whole shit happened. And me and Ma didn't even talk about it. He was like, yo, you trying to go to LA? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like it wasn't even a, it was weird, bro. It wasn't even like a, a, a long, like I don't even think we've to this day even had a real in-depth conversation about what happened. Right. Yeah, I mean, we did the, the paywall response, but that was more so to the bullshit that had just happened. Like, yeah. That was to kill some narratives. That wasn't, yeah, 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 yeah. you know what I mean? That wasn't even about, but like, we we haven't had like that conversation where it was like, it's like every other day we just randomly text each other with more shit and just yeah. laugh. Like, yo, it's crazy. Yeah, but then it's like, yo, um, what you think about flying here this week to chop it up with so-and-so? We gotta take this meeting tomorrow mm -hmm. with this person. It's more so like that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like it's it's a, it's a real. Well, I'm, I mean, keep it a buck with you. I'm just sad, right? Because I just feel like, <sighs> I mean, everything happens for a reason. But I just feel like the path that you guys were on, you know, was just such a beautiful path to that watch. Chemistry, you know what I'm saying? Amazing. It was just, it, but not even the chemistry for me. It's really just, it's the leading by example thing, right? Like obviously, you know, it was all cap though. Yeah. See, that's what, that's what, that's, yeah. I understand what you're saying. The yeah. optic was amazing. Yeah. But when you know what Rory and myself know, right. it was all just cap. Like, you can't, see, it's, you can't cry about De La Soul not getting they splits on one show and then do what you did to me and Rory. That's why it's hard to be friends and work in the business because in the business, it's business, right? So, like, how do you, tell the line in, in being a business person know what makes sense for your brand or whatever it is you're building as versus the loyalty and like being, you know what I'm saying, being down for your friends, et cetera, et cetera. Like how do you straddle that line? I, again, like without it being compromising. It's not, see, again, I think we put a lot of bullshit in the game, man, because you can do business with friends and I think we got to stop acting like you can't. Because people always say, don't mix business and friends. Don't. You can absolutely do business with friends. Like you should be able to. You, you should learn a nigga about your friends. That, but that's see, that's now that's a different thing. It's it's just that sometimes in business you realize, oh, this nigga's just not my friend. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like you just not you not my friend. I thought you were my friend, but you're not. But you can absolutely do business with your friends. It's just conversation. It's just transparency. It's just honesty, integrity, right. morals, character. You know what I'm saying? It's those types of things where it's like, yo, fuck the money. Let's get back to us. Like. You know in your heart when you're not doing something right. Right. Right? You just know, like, damn, this is this yeah, no, right. Yeah, it's just I mean, unless you're a sociopath. Unless you're a sociopath or a narcissist, whatever, these other th words that people like to label, I just call it mm. a sucker. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you do sucker shit, like, you know when you do sucker shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you, it's, you just, it's just on you. So when you continue to do that, at some point, you got to know that this person that you're doing it to knows what's going on and he can feel that, like, yo, things have changed. Right. Shit is not the same. Shit is different. You know what I'm saying? And I just think it gets to a point where it's like, as men, you say, fam, enough is enough, man. What, right. what are we doing? Right. Because I've sat back for so long and I just observe and watch you move a certain way. And it's like, yo, we still homies? Mm -hmm. well, that's, and that's where it gets like offensive. Because with your friends, you'll always give benefit of doubt first. Yeah. Right? You'll always even give a grace period to people that you love and are friends with, even when they do fucked up shit, because we're all humans and we all do make mistakes. So when you're thinking that's your friend, you do give them a grace period, and then it continues on and continues on. It's like, all right, well now, now I'm just, now, now I'm a hoe. Yeah, right. I don't, I don't even know if we're friends anymore. Right. Like you right. do business with friends, correct? Yeah, all my partners are are my best friends. Yeah. Has it ever been weird with conversations of money? Now y'all have had hiccups, maybe disagreements. Yeah, we and, fight all the time. Right. But but, but I think. But, but a certain level of respect is always there. Yeah, and, and, and the premise of it is the premise of it is always transparency Absolutely. but like you know that's why we we because when now when we actually started being successful and and, and you said you know when money comes in the picture we got a therapist absolutely and we do group therapy mm -hmm. like once every three months that's dope. you know what i'm saying like because there's shit that you you be wanting to say but you just can't say right and when when you tell somebody that got money mm -hmm. that something you don't want to hear it's really a fuck you yeah mm -hmm. but the therapy creates that safe space where it's like an unbiased opinion that's what mm -hmm. i was kind of trying to say like a biased opinion that can that could say something and you know that the whole intent is love, but. Yeah, but you guys also have the beauty of no one wanting to be famous. Y'all want to make famous people. Right. Mm -hmm. Fame is a hell of a fucking drug. Right. So when mm -hmm. everyone is humbled in that capacity, whereas I don't have to be the man or I love this attention that I'm getting specifically mm -hmm. towards me, it's mine, mine, mine. Like, 
that's where the ego gets crazy, where it's not even money at that time anymore. Now right. it's now it's validity, right? Yeah. Or some type of shit. Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever run into that? That shit. What? I mean, you came I mean, up with yeah, your friends. With my friends. Yeah, you've done business with friends. Definitely. I mean, yeah. y'all was on camera since y'all was kids. Yeah, and it, and niggas definitely did business like kids. It's fucked up. Like, uh, not fucked up, but just like, however best you can do a job that you don't know how to do. Right. Um. Yeah, bro. That shit is crazy. But a certain level of respect is always there, though, as friends. Definitely. That's all. That it just has to. As long as you maintain that, we could figure all the other shit out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like we could figure that out. I, I met you guys, you know. Yeah. Via, yeah. Via him. Yeah. Um, and I'm just like, damn, man, it's sad. But hey, we can no, get I mean, it's, 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 it's cool on like the creative front and everything. Like, I, I'm not scared of blank canvases. I think that shit is dope. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, is it, is it sad that three friends? Fucking fell out publicly. World, right, yeah. yeah, that's that's sad. That's some yeah. corny shit. But yeah, for so, me that was yeah. like that was the part where it was yeah. like, ugh, yeah. you know what I'm yeah. saying? But it we we we, we can only expect it because we were in the public eye. Right. You know what I'm saying? So naturally, if the optics change, what happened? What's going on? That so you got to address it. You know what I'm saying? But again, man, wow. elevation. You know what I'm saying? Elevation. Did I ever be opening the the, the re reuniting? Reunion five. Hey, that shit's not even my brain at all. <laughs> it's not even. Oh, like a love and hip hop reunion? Uh -huh. But look, imagine, like a love and hip hop reunion. Look, crazy. imagine y'all handled it. <laughs> it's been mad reunions. <laughs> imagine like ideal world, everything like y'all noticed creative differences, and y'all like spoke. Y'all was like, hey, y'all, I'm about to do my own thing. Y'all went y'all ways, and it was like a very like quaint thing. And then, like y'all tried to do some shit. Like you just said, optics. Mm -hmm. Like that shit was like. I don't, bro, I be on some music that I don't even be tapped in. I just started, like, I just listened to the Luminary joint, the Chappelle, and, uh, like, mm -hmm. yes. I just started listening to podcasts, like, on my own. But even y'all shit, niggas was like, yo, what the fuck? Tapped in with this shit. So, like, I mean, shit be happening for a reason. Yeah, it does. I, like, I, yeah, no, for sure. No, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, absolutely. Hindsight's 2020, and I'm not going to I definitely didn't want him man. to go to camp, though. Like, you know, shit happens for a reason, but I didn't want him to go to camp. I really wanted him to be outside. You, you want him to be outside? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really want him to be outside rapping. Yeah. He shouldn't have went to camp. That built the buzz, though. It did. It was for a waiting for it my did. boy. Bro. Well, yeah. It, it would have been doper if we all could do separate things together. I right. think that's the best way to, to start branching out and doing that right. shit. But, you know, right. sometimes you have to rip the fucking Band-Aid off and it's... Yeah, Painful, guys, but yeah. it's the easiest way to do shit. Way, you, gotta, you gotta just bleed out. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm always authentic in my relationships, right. right? And my conversations with you guys and my conversations with them is like, bro, I will tell you if you did some fucked up shit. Right. Mm -hmm. If I feel like you're wrong, you're wrong. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now, at the end of the day, that's on your spirit to, to hold or your spirit to bear. So it's right. just like, that's the thing about picking sides. It's like, okay, picking sides is like, Crips and Bloods, and it's just like, bro, <laughs> they got some shit they gotta go, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Nah, like, man. but my thing is just like, the nigga's wrong, the nigga's wrong. Nah, yeah, no, absolutely, I'm, I'm with that. Yeah. Wrong is wrong, yeah. no matter where it's from. It's, yeah. If it's wrong, it's wrong, yeah. you know what I mean? And, but we weren't wrong, so you picked exactly. this up. Boogie don't have a shit. <laughs> oh! <laughs> he gotta be on Eminem side. So oh, yeah. oh, you, oh, you said, oh, in, in, this, in this situation? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's absolutely wrong. Okay. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Oh. Yeah. Nah, he's, nah, he's crazy. Yeah. It's, it's, it's wild. It's all good. But, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But you had something you wanted to say, though. Yeah, that's what I was trying to get at. Then uh, you said we're going to wait. Yeah, he's like, I'm way too weird. Oh, oh man. man. You should have said, said it, it then. Said it. He ain't say shit. Dude. Oh, I did already say yeah, There's it. a nigga in the club. Oh, that. That shit really uh, bothered me. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm petty. <laughs> You're, I remember I told you one night, I was like, Yo, you such an asshole. And you was yeah. like, what? It was like, you've never heard that before. Bro, and I was bro like, Justice, people, niggas asshole. keep telling me that, but I'm really not. But I don't think Justice is one for the same reason I don't think I'm one. Right. Nah, but the older I've gotten, I've realized Justice is like, an asshole. The first my time... delivery is, is asshole. Like, I don't think I'm you one think I'm I know my The first time I met you when you came to my studio session and my producer was there, he was like, this beat fucking sucked. I was like, oh. It did. That's crazy, though. But you that's asshole that? shit. You that's can't like... deliver it like that. <laughs> like, what? See, that's, that's what's wrong with the world. 
I'm from New York, so we're very oh, blunt. But that's no, asshole no, shit. No, though. but that's not asshole. That's what's wrong with the world. Like, you know how many times like, I've been told that I suck and how much it made me better in basketball? If my, if my, whatever you sports you play, right. whatever sports you play. You play ball? I did play ball. You don't, you don't want to see him on court. Box. They need yeah, that, like, I pictures see, of him, like. Fighting. No, no, no. <laughs> so, whatever sports you play, yeah. if you yeah. shot a crazy shot in the fourth quarter with two minutes left to go and your coach gave it to you nicely, you think you'll win? No, but it's still... People it's still got different personalities. You got to manage personalities different. Then that means you're not ready to win. But just it's different. That means you're a little different. hole. You need to go home. But that's different from walking in a session that you don't know somebody and the niggas don't playing know a beat niggas. and you like, this shit fucking you're, sucks. You're actually more nicer than a nigga that's going to let a nigga write their own story. Like, if your beat ass and I'm not going to tell you that your beat is ass and that joint is just playing and you really don't, like, level up your shit, then that's just what's going. That's happen. what's wrong yeah. with the world. But justice, that's why you missing something. It's different because you didn't know what was going. What if the, what if he wasn't even finished with the beat? Then he knows he got to step it up. No, but he, he got to fight. If it's not right. finished and you just saying this shit is ass, but it's like your fam. I didn't even add like. And like, also, who yeah, made no, that's you that's crazy, bro. <laughs> I'm making a beat, bro. And then he's coming in like, no, there was vocals ass. on the track, bro. I'm out. There was vocals on the track. The nigga was not laying oh, the drums oh, down. Bro, bro, the bro, the bro, track bro. was finished. It was finished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The track was finished. It wasn't okay. finished. I was saying you little like ideas and shit. Yeah. You didn't so, like his idea. I definitely came the from a place where niggas was on it like that though. Niggas I just I, I fall on the like side that that of justice. But if you're a leader within your own camp though, you have to figure out how people. And need wait, to was this your first time meeting? Absolutely. This is like I just signed management to him. This is our first studio. Oh, you signed already. Oh, well, so yeah, you, I, I feel like I feel trash. like bro on some like why are people mad that I'm honest? No, I'm fe- I feel like I feel like there's something wrong with the world. That's why we're all mediocre. You can still tell because everybody's just lying to each other, bro. It's like no, my nigga, stop giving me fucking whack shit. Stop giving me whack beats. Right. And if I put out an album and you don't like it, and you don't tell me that you don't like it, fuck you. I don't want to be your friend. Yeah. Tell me this shit's terrible so I do better next time. But you wouldn't take no, because you wouldn't take that from just anybody. Yes, I would. No, you would not. Yes, I would. Don't do that. If somebody that knows nothing about music and the music business came up to you and gave an opinion on the way LVRN runs and operates and and, and albums that y'all have put out, mm-hmm. you would look at them smoking and just look at them in their face like with that asshole I look really like, would. who are you again? I really would. I really would. I, I know would. you would. No, no, no. I'm saying I would listen to them. No, you would. No, bro. Like, I really out. love feedback, bro. I will argue you from people that you respect I will their ar- opinion. Yes, I, I will. No, no. I'm talking about a random person. Random niggas. I will argue you down, but I will at least try to see what you're saying, because my thing is about just trying to be the best. So if y'all see flaws in my character, like you said, I'm an asshole. Cool. I'm working on it. I'm going to therapy. Right. I'm trying to figure it out. Right. That's the new crush. Bro. Right. I'm it is. Get aggressive. Yeah. Therapy. You know what I'm saying? Fuck. Here's all my <laughs> shitty qualities, but yo, I'm gonna go to therapy. <laughs> yo, you're right. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm working on myself. Sure. Yeah. I'm working on like, myself. It's like, no, nah, I don't mean you could just continue doing yeah. this shit. But that's what's wrong but, with the world. Well, here's the thing. I fall Seriously. on the same side of, of you of, of telling truth, sometimes a little too brash, but you can't be that person that comes in and says, yo, this beat is fucking trash, and then not, that's the period at the end of the sentence. Right. You got to tell me why it's trash, what you think is changed. Like, it needs to be constructive in that type of way. You come in and say, yo, shit is trash. It's like, uh, yeah, it's okay. just oh, now, but, now what? But I'm, but, but I'm always constructive, though. Yeah. I'm always yeah. constructive. You just have to add more yeah, to the I, sentence I, I of what yeah, yeah, these keys is trash. The drums are horrible. Like, yeah. I agree. But right after it was that, it was a crazy awkward silence where I'm like, oh, matter of fact, my AR was like, yo, he made this beat. Tim said that. He was like, it's trash. <laughs> He's still by, <laughs> <laughs> still <laughs> by <laughs> it. No, but it's real. <laughs> it's real. And he got better since then. Yeah, he did. And look, you taking the credit for that? <laughs> Yes! That's asshole shit. No! Just, you and can't you take the credit for a nigga no. getting better? No, you can't. But, like, you can't. Because <laughs> niggas be lying around niggas, bro. Niggas be lying, bro. Yeah, but niggas you can't say, yo, yo, he got better. Because I, just, I told him that shit was trash. <laughs> I just want y'all to tell me I don't like something. Oh, no. I, for I sure. Care. For sure. Yeah. But I just it's just it's just a way to do it, especially with creatives, man. No. You got to know that you gotta creators hurt, are you sensitive, gotta break man. The ego. No, it's I agree. Way I the agree. Ego can grow. I agree with that. I'm I'm with you. Some on of that. that's not ego. Some of that's just the Erica Badu line. I'm I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my shit. Yeah, that's actually insecurity. It's not ego. Right. Like, Adjusting to your personality is hard as an artist. Like, and this is your artist. It made me like I grew to like uh, this nigga love me. Disagree. He do it out of place from a genuine space. But nigga, it's like. It's been nights where I'm like, oh, this nigga justice is crazy, bro. It's like, 
he's so blunt and it's like nigga i'm scared to even bring him shit because i'm so sensitive about my art it's mm -hmm. like man if this nigga don't like this shit i'm gonna hate this nigga mm -hmm. and it's like damn see you hurt him man this is therapy this is this is boogie letting yeah. you know you hurt him thank y'all for this safe yeah. space you know what i mean <laughs> right, man. This I'm is gonna, what we do here, man. We create the safe environment. If I don't like something next time, I'll just... I'll nah, just, see, I hate when niggas run with that. Yeah, it's like, look, look, look. I, I, I did that okay. on purpose. I did that on purpose. I did that on purpose. I was like, if I don't like something, I'm just not like, gonna text you back. Right? I'm, yeah, I'm just not like, gonna, gonna tell you. Like, like, go ahead, man. Do your whack shit. Yeah. <laughs> get that off. Get that off. Do your whack you, shit. You want to get that off? Yeah. Is there a place for you to put it in? He do shit like, you don't want to change your life. When he hit me with those... That nah, and then, then the male ego kick in. And but you also you, you gotta express, understand. express yourself. But you also, so your male friend goes, oh, I'm sorry for hurting no, no, your feelings. No, 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 I don't say that. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Chill out, my boy. Uh -huh. You're doing nah. No. Anytime you'll express yourself to your male friend, and then they'll be like, oh, my bad, I mean to hurt your feelings. It's like, all right, now, all right, now, now, now you're doing too much, nigga. Yeah, yeah. My bad, I know you're that sensitive. No! 